Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 20th of 2023. Well, it is titled a roll cloud over Wisconsin. So what do we see here? Well, this is an unusual type of cloud known as a roll cloud. And you can see how it kind of stretches off into the distance. Very long cloud and different than the typical clouds that we're used to seeing. Uh, these are associated with a storm front. So a storm front coming in, you're almost seeing the front here highlighted by the cloud. So as the two different masses of air meet along a long front, then we form this type of cloud that can sometimes that will sometimes occur. Now, while they're associated with storms, one thing they're not associated with would be tornadoes. So this much longer storm does not signify that tornadoes would be coming. And in fact, the air would be circulating around the axis. So around the very long axis stretching down here and not twirling in the typical manner for a tornado that we would generally see. Now we also see there's a couple of different types of clouds like this. So while we don't think it will become a tornado, they are associated with storms. And they are also different than another type of cloud that is called a shelf cloud. Now the difference between the two is that this one has become detached from its apparent cloud, its parent storm cloud, and they're actually separated. Whereas in a shelf cloud, they would still be attached. Now when we see storm clouds like this, we start to wonder are they associated only with Earth or are there other clouds on other planets? And we know that yes, other planets have clouds as well. Maybe not the specific type that we see here, but we see very interesting cloud patterns in all of the planets with significant atmospheres. So Venus is shrouded in clouds. And when we look especially to the outer solar system, we see things like Jupiter and Saturn pattern with very distinct patterns and storms within their uh, within their atmospheres as well. And studying those helps us to better understand the clouds here on Earth. We get to look at them under different conditions on those objects, noting, for example, that Jupiter and Saturn rotate very fast. And therefore, that affects how the clouds and storms would occur. Now, they're not going to be exactly the same, but of course, understanding things across the solar system gives us a much better understanding of how things work here on our own Earth as well. So that was our picture of the day for August 20th of 2023. It was titled A Roll Cloud Over Wisconsin. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Comet Rain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.